Sakos County. To politics now, the quest to unite the Mount Kenya region under one political umbrella is gaining momentum ahead of President Uhuru Kenyatta's retirement in 2022, with a section of Mount Kenya leaders endorsing Peter Kenneth as the region's kingpin. And as Ibrahim Karanja reports, the leaders now want Kenneth to be appointed to the cabinet to give him a platform to unite the region. So the recognition of Peter Kenneth's political star and an attempt to install him as a designated kingpin after President Kenyatta's retirement was evident from early morning with supporters donning his merchandise used in previous campaigns. And having successfully served as the MP for Gatanga, it is here where his ambitions would be catapulted. <laughs> Raisu wetu uhuru mwigai Kenyatta, tunasikia kuna mpango huko nae. Wa utuangalile uku jana wetu. Leaders present, among them legislators from Muranga and Nyeri counties, stating that PK is tried, tested and proven, and is ready to take the mantle from the head of state. We also pray that it shall happen, that this prayer shall come to be. And perhaps you are talking about the son of the soil becoming a cabinet secretary. Mimi niko tiari kukusu. Kusaidia rais na nimemsaidia hata wakati huu. Hii miaka miwili atimize ile ambaye anataka kutimizia wa Kenya. Na kistafu, sisi watu ya mlima Kenya, we are the largest population in Kenya. Lazi matue kwa meza kukigai uo. And as has now become the norm, the function also provided a platform to MPs from the region to castigate their counterparts appearing to be against President Kenyatta, this time even openly taking a swipe at his deputy, William Ruto. People who do not share his vision, they will be grinded on, whether that is the deputy president, whether that is a cabinet secretary, whether that is my colleague's chief administrative secretary. Rais Uhuru is not a lame duck president. Yeye si mtu wa kuchukuliwa hivi hii. Nyinyi wenyewe mlimchagua. Na amesema ako na miaka yake ambaye atamaliza alafu aende apumzike, sivyo? The 2022 succession politics followed a series of development tours by leaders from the area. Political pundits say the president could be keen to use the development carrot to win back the region ahead of the 2022 general election. At least seven CSs have been in the region over the last three weeks. With a seemingly inevitable purge in President Uhuru Kenyatta's cabinet and a quest by Mount Kenya to unite and speak in one voice ahead of the 2022 general elections, could having Peter Kenneth in the cabinet reignite his chances as President Uhuru's heir apparent? Ibrahim Karanja.